Uh, today's vlog is going to be shot almost exclusively on the 14 to 35 F4 RF lens. I'm shooting on it right now, so I can't show it to you. But this lens came out after I initially switched to Canon and bought the 15 to 35 2.8. And I'm not gonna have, this won't be my full review yet, but I am gonna show you kind of what a vlog looks like being shot with this lens. When I was looking to buy this lens, I didn't see many, many videos on YouTube that showed this lens being used in a vlog context. And uh, spoiler alert, as we always say in these stupid videos, um, I think this might be the better choice, but we're gonna, I'm gonna let that play out. And uh, Jenny just interrupted me, but that's okay. I'm gonna let that play out and we're gonna go do our thing today and let me know what you think of the 14 to 35 and enjoy Vancouver Island. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. Get it out to Nashville, on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride. Look how wet it is. <laughs> when my feet are just dry, when I'm happy, I did feel. This is a trichelate. Remind me to tell you about it later. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for Ooh, that dog, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river, okay. banker, the old train. Going to watch Carter's baseball game, then probably going to Coombs. Right? Yeah. Yeah? I think we'll come back here and then go. So far, the uh, setup of having a little <gasps> bit wider of a lens with the 1435, the weight is so much lower, it feels like my XT4 again which You gotta run, man. You gotta run. You got it. How many out? No. No? Why not? You're not gonna dap me up? I can't. Good job, bud. Stop filming me! Good job, buddy. Good job, Carter. Good job, okay, job, Carter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sweetheart, you're not done. You need to go back to your team, please. Thank you. Hey, nice number eight. In a bed, Amber. So these, when these ones here I'm looking at, virtual fit, right? Are you six? Or five. Mm -hmm. There's an open one just on the other side, Chris. See, you just screw them into the existing holes. But the other thing is that the, you don't actually see that part once it's in, right? Yeah. yeah. No, it goes right into that tube that's already yeah. there. They're probably a name for it. Maybe it will say something you could copy and paste in Google. All right. That's better. Just keep going back nice and steady. Oh, maybe just do your tires in, tires that way. way. No, tires that way. Here we got another one of these, so wrap your revolver. Okay. Look, one of the hot, hot and spicy and one of the teriyaki. Um, uh, together's fine, yeah. This is easily the best jerky in Canada. 
and I got 200 grams of it. 200 grams of what? Teriyaki and sweet and spicy. Oh, yeah. I feel like it would be a good like finishing guy. Mm -hmm. No, this one. Down here at Bo Edison, we take these parts very seriously. What do you want? <gasps> Is it rhubarb? It's rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb. But no cherry, cup? You never have cherry. <sighs> do I have to go back to the flying pies? <laughs> Ooh, okay, still. $180. Apparently, LeBron James actually is doing an autograph signing. I gotta go. Okay. okay. Gotta go see. I'll be right over there. Okay. Braun is somehow on Vancouver Island for like, I don't know, I think a couple of days. We happen to be here at the exact same time. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's done. He's done signing. I think he's taking a nap. LeBron. Well, it's fresh, I wanted to talk about this setup a little bit. It feels like when I was in the peak of daily vlogging, this is what it felt like. Like I'm not being hindered by this gear at all, which is not something I could say about the R with the 15 to 35 2.8. Um, Good old fashioned Corvette Stingray. Either I'm out of practice or uh, the R6 burns through a lot of batteries. I've already used three today, but I have been shooting quite a bit. Um, I need to charge these. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. Don't ride the scooter. <laughs> she is, anyway. So F4, we're at about 2,500 ISO, and it's just after sundown. Huh? Yeah. Remember this guy? Yeah, when you bailed on it. So, when you bailed on it. All in all here, the uh, the main trade-off obviously is the one stop, but when you give up that one stop, you get one millimeter more of wideness, as well as that with an R6 or anything beyond an R really, the ISO performance is so good that you're not gonna miss that one stop in terms of light gathering. When it comes to shallow depth of field, you're not really gonna get that much difference on a ultra wide angle lens. Like it's not what it's for, so I would say like the F4 is fine for an ultra wide, but you might want a 2.8 for like a 7200 if you catch what I'm saying here. So the trade off for the one stop being way lighter, way smaller and the extra millimeter, I'll take it any day. This is an amazing lens. We're competing with our Apple watches here. So I got to focus on this walk and I'll uh, catch you guys later. It's been cool. Uh, subscribe if you like this and uh, you want to hear more about this set up, so, peace. Ooh, I don't know what's prettier. <laughs> this guy, or this guy? <laughs>
Okay. Jackson, are you pretty? <laughs>